So in this video, we're going to talk about willpower, which is a topic I don't usually talk about because I don't, uh, I'm not one of these people who are like, you know, oh, you know, you have to use willpower all the time and think about willpower. Uh, but there is one key place in your life where you have to be really observant of willpower. And that's the distinction between start of the day and end of the day. You know, people would say, oh, your willpower is, is limited, it's diminishing, it, you know, you can replenish it by doing this or that. Um, this takes willpower, this doesn't take willpower. But from my observation, usually if you're taking action, uh, you know, healthy and your life is uh, overall okay, there's only two distinctions you need to make and that's morning willpower and that's evening lack of willpower. So. I have my daily set of goals, the daily things that I need to accomplish uh, in order to make my dreams a reality. And when I set these goals, I have specific goals that I don't allow myself to, to procrastinate on. So you know, in my, like my day, like most of people watching this is, uh, you know, it, you wake up, you do your thing and then you leave the house to do stuff, you know, go to work, go to, you know, do sports or whatever you do, but you usually leave the house. Like it's very rare that you get somebody who doesn't leave the house um, and just does everything in the house. So I have a rule that I will not leave my house uh, before I finish all the big hard stuff that I won't be able to do late at night because when it's morning I can trust myself you know when is the beginning of the day the middle of the day I can trust myself to do whatever I want so if I have a goal to meditate for an hour I know I'm gonna have the willpower or the discipline to sit down and do it if it's writing 10 pages uh, for my book I you know I'll sit down and I'll do it but if it's the end of the day, and this is something that I, I honestly I, I fell on many, many times uh, before I discovered this uh, principle, uh, I would, you know, I would spend my day and I would not prioritize which goals I would do first because I would say, okay, I have enough time in the day to just do them all. So I would do this and then this and then this and then this, you know, I'd work out and then I'd make a video and then I'd read for an hour and then I'd make another video and increase my Instagram and also write an article and I would do everything. And, you know, unknowingly, I would basically procrastinate on the two hardest habits, you know, the two habits that require the most willpower, which were meditation and writing uh, 10 pages every day for my book. So what would happen, I would uh, I wake up usually at 10 a.m and I get back to the house at like midnight and um, and then I still have meditation and the writing remaining but I know now from experience that after 12 I can't trust myself like after midnight I can't trust myself to do what I need what I should do I can trust myself after midnight to maybe make a video I've done that you know most of the time like 75 80 percent of the time I would still make a video after midnight um, if it's um, you know adding people on Instagram maybe writing an article I can like you know s just like scratch something up um, working out you know I can do some push-ups and pull-ups and you know call it a day, a day but but writing and meditation are very consuming activities, consuming in terms of, you know, emotionally. They're not easy. So I learned that I'm not allowed to leave the house before I do these. And since then, my consistency has gone back to perfect again. Because once I took these out of the equation, it's like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders because now I don't have that you know in the back of my mind like oh there's this habit that I might not do today you know and I should have done it earlier when am I going to do it you know it's called eating the frog you know you want to eat the frog because it's like you know 
you want to do the, the ugly habits earlier. And uh, I would always despise it, you know, when people would say, oh, eat the frog, eat the frog. You know, I would always be like, oh, fuck it. You know, I like, I like accomplishing goals. I don't want to do that shit where you do the hardest thing first thing in the morning. That sounds so bad. Sounds like it sucks. So I basically broadened the definition a bit. And now I know why it's so important and viable. And uh, instead of saying, okay, I'll have to meditate the moment I wake up because uh, for me, you know, just makes it not fun. And if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. Uh, but, but I just say, okay, I'll only leave the house after meditating. So let's say I was about to leave at, me- at 12, you know, at noon. Um, I see, oh, I still didn't meditate. So no problem. I'll just sit down, meditate. I'll write down whatever I need to write. And then I'll give myself permission to leave. And that's a really, really simple solution. So if you find yourself uh, procrastinating on habits, you know, things that you know you should do, uh, but you just don't do them, um, you know, again, meditation, maybe even, you know, approaching women, making sales calls, uh, writing something you should write, just keep a trigger for an early time in the morning like a constraint like I cannot leave the house before this for example and that's an easy easy way to guarantee that you will be consistent with this and that you will accomplish it so I hope this tip helps you and uh, let me know what's the thing that you've been struggling with and if you haven't subscribed yet now's your chance to be my 520th subscriber thanks for watching see you soon